Okay, so this is day 10 uh, of the Servo Motion 30-day uh, project. So, uh, on, in day 9, we uh, we did the actual system test, um, make sure everything that we've done so far with the uh, logics um, or with the uh, axes and everything are working properly. And it, the, the, uh, we haven't added anything in the state machine, but we did add the virtual controls as far as uh, just having the speed controls and stuff in there. So uh, just to, that was kind of a quick review of day nine. Uh, we'll start with day 10 uh, right now. What I'm going to start doing is adding the um, state logic. So I want to put in the state control first and then come back and do the state actual uh, if then and else statements. So first and foremost, uh, we need to add a couple rungs. Um, and basically what I want to do is basically going to, to uh, let's see, come in and we're going to move. We're going to basically do an indirect addressing, um, but we're, we're going to move everything into what it should be. So. Uh, We'll go ahead and do that. We'll add the move statement in there. So we'll have the move and then we'll have another move. And then what we'll do, um, we have, sorry, let's not create a tag. Let's go down to our tags that we made. And if you recall, in one of the prior videos, we made all our tags for basically our, our arrays and our state array and stuff of that nature. So I want to grab my state array which is an array of 50, right? I'm going to grab my state array, but I'm going to come back here and add uh, an indirect address to that. That indirect address, in this case, is going to be machine uh, state number. So what I need to do, actually, let's, let's leave that like that for now. Let's come back to here create um, machine state number and we need to alias this we need to alias this uh, machine state number basically we need to uh, we need to take it to uh, uh, Actually, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. We need to add this being the um, state SSL. So so that would be the SSL number. Uh, then we need to, to alias this to... Let's just let's go down here and pick it. Uh, it'd probably be easier to just go ahead and pick it through here. So we, what we want is the um, the machine state. I'm not sure if I have if I've added that already or if I haven't. Don't look like I have. So what we can do. thought I did but I don't see it so what we need to do is so let's cancel that out real quick um, let's make a tag and let's call it machine state number okay and then it's going to be a dent so in that case um, We'll copy that. We'll take it out and then we'll come back. And in the case of our uh, machine SSL, which is our basically a sectional state machine, state sectional state logic. And this will be the state Again, we're going the number, 
And this will all kind of tie in pretty soon. So we want this to co coincide with this, right? So at this point, now we want to take this and basically take the machine number and have it uh, indirect address up here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to say whatever the machine number is, we're going to direct it to that portion of that array. So if it happens to be 1, it's going to be you know, 1 of 50 of that array. If it happens to be 2, it's going to, you know, whatever the case may be, 8, it's going to go to the array of 8, um, and, you know, so forth. So in this instance, we're going to, this is just going to be for, like, display aspect. So we're going to go to HMI uh, and then just basically show the HMI uh, what the state current state number is. This is going to be represented as the, uh, actually we already have that tag made, so um, we're going to go ahead and put in the, uh, let's see, this would be the output. So what we want to do is, <clears throat> we want to say, okay, so whatever the, the array or whatever the machine state number is, we're going to look in that array, and in the output of that array, we're going to feed into the output, or the array, whatever the output number is, like that array. If we just happen to look at the array, and say, for instance, the array was uh, an instance of six, whatever's in six right here, like say, for instance, there was like one bit right here, you know, then it's going to be 32 that's going to feed into it's going to be 32 that feeds into the output right here right so uh, real quick we're, so we don't get confused we don't you know kind of come back and you know or where we keep where we're at um, I want to keep the array clean right now but first and foremost I want to go ahead and put that in there so just keep in mind that this state machine uses indirect addressing and I've, I've shown this in some of my other videos so um, if you need to you can kind of look back at that um, you know it's on the, the it's on my YouTube page so um, and I don't know if I'll throw in the show notes below because it's, it's going to be kind of long already but uh, for this instance like I said what's coming out of the state machine that we're going to write in the seat in the, uh, the structure text over here what's coming out will be fed into uh, basically the machine uh, machine SSL state state number and that's going to come in and it's also going to represent right here what number you're going to indirect address to that array when that array comes back whatever value is in the array that is actually being told to go to is going to come out of the machine SSL, which is the sectional state logic out. And then whatever output that is, it's going to turn on set and set bits, right? It's going to put on whatever, however many bits is on in that, that particular array. So it's basically using any one of these 50 arrays. All right. So to kind of limit the uh, confusion of that, you'll see it running. And you'll, you'll kind of understand a little bit more about it then. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's add some of our, uh, just some of our high level bits. We're not going to necessarily like time in right now. But I just want to go ahead and, and you know, <clears throat> put, put the uh, high level bits in there. So I think we're going to go probably six uh, that's what four okay so okay so first and foremost uh, always uh, we're gonna have a basically a e-stop <clears throat> So 
So then we're going to call it the sectional state logic um, input, and then we're going to say that uh, that's going to be a, this this particular tag is going to be our e stop. I want to alias this, and we should have the tag already made for this. <coughs> Is the input tag so at this point we want to use zero as our input tag and that's going to be <clears throat> like I said that's going to be the, our high level and this will all start making sense as far as what we feed into our state machine so we'll basically say this bit does this and then it's going to come back as an output so we have inputs and outputs in this state machine uh, basically like I said via the indirect address and it's done up top up here so the next one's going to be um, the SSL which is section against or we're abbreviating so sectional state machine input um, input one and then we're going to have this is going to be the not ready And come back again, uh, alias it. And then again, this is a machine state. So uh, this would be one. We'll come in and we'll throw the next one, will be our basically our system stop. So SSL in one system. Stop. We'll abbreviate or we'll alias this again, come down and just choose the next one in, in line. <clears throat> like I said, <clears throat> this will all start tying together into uh, like uh, video 11 and video 12. So hopefully this. Uh, I, I mean, you may understand what I'm talking about right now. I mean, I'm, <clears throat> I don't want to get too far into it. So this would be the system ready. At that point, alias. Come down. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, the next one in line, right? Okay, so this was going to be the uh, system start. Make sure I keep all that the same looking. Okay, and this should be four. Tie that in here. And then this would be the system running. And you'll sell you'll see why you know later on why we need all these bits like a e-stop not ready um, a system stop so to, obviously to stop the machine um, the ready to make sure everything's ready before you start it to start and the, the running so um, you'll see exactly why we have all this and it's very very simple I'm not going to make this very complex at all um, even though it may sound complex right now uh, to some people it's not going to be complex at all so uh, basically we're going to feed this in and so we're going to keep it really really simple this is basically our state machine right um, these bits right here that you see are going to be the high level bits for the machine going into the state machine I'm going to use them in the st structure text right here to produce an output in that output which is machine state number is going to produce where it's at so it's going to produce a uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 wherever it's at right 
So essentially out of the 50 arrays, we're only going to use five, right? So in that instance, if it's a, if it's a, just so happens to be a three, then it's going to say, okay, the machine is ready. Everything is healthy. All the servos are ready. There are no, there's no faults and you're able to start. So we'll throw in an output that allows you to have the ability to start. And then once it's able to start, then you can hit the start button and start running. So it's fairly simple. The, once all this kind of ties in together, it, it does use aliasing. It does use indirect addressing. Um, it's, it's meant to be a very fast, uh, robust system because it uses structured text. Um, so it's not made to be, um, you know, a slow system where, you know, you, you look, hunt and look through ladder logic and everything. Very fast system. And you'll see in the next video when I start making the structure text for the uh, actual machine, uh, the machine structure text that we're going to be using, that it's, you know, how it, how it kind of lays out and, and stuff of that nature. So you'll, you'll start, start seeing the hierarchy of, of the thing, like the ins and the outs and, and everything we did right here. So, um, we're right at, again, we're, we're past the 16 minute mark, or 15 minute mark. Um, sorry, right at 17 minutes right now. Um, I'll go ahead and end this. Uh, just like I said, I want to keep them short. This did give you an example of, uh, indirect addressing the output array, the feed to the HMI that we're going to be giving, the inputs that we're going to be feeding into the state machine, and in the next video I'll be doing the uh, state programming for the state machine itself. So, well, without further ado, I just want to thank you for your time, uh, thank you for your patience, and um, we'll see you again on day 11. Okay, thank you.